So pretty decent acceleration, even in the eco mode. And it actually drives really nicely. Like really nicely. And I like the region, it's just a little bit of bite there. It's not necessarily one pedal, but if you time it right, you might be able to do it. I'm gonna take it out of eco and give it some, oh. That changes things up. Not fast, but pretty quick. I've had a Tesla Model 3 and uh, I've got a Mustang Mach-E now, so this can't really touch them in that sense, but it's still quicker than pretty much any other Nissan sedan I've driven. I shouldn't say that. The Sentras and the Versas, they're quicker than that but of course a Maxima is going to be faster and Ultima 2 liter turbo is going to be faster but for what it is really good power and of course you can get the new release now with much better range but if you just drive a couple minutes to spin class or your job's three minutes away and there's EV parking and all of that, then this is really good for those kind of lifestyles because you're not gonna be doing a lot of driving. They're pretty efficient in terms of EVs and they're just simple, really simple to operate. I think this one only has a little over 20,000 miles and I think it's priced under 15,000. So you can get these pretty cheaply and they still have a lot of life left in them. And for those simpler lifestyles, you're not gonna be doing a lot of road tripping and things of that nature, a really good option. And the eco mode is actually really nice because it keeps you from burning through power. And then of course it's just a push of a button and you can put your foot into it. But honestly, in my opinion, it's not worth that. If you want something like that, then go for a Tesla or a Mach-E or something that's more performance oriented but this is really, really a great practical electric vehicle, in my opinion. Which all of them are practical, but one of the most practic mo one of the most practical ones you can buy would be a Nissan Leaf. Certainly an older one if you don't drive that much, because EVs right now are 40, 50 grand and dealers are charging five, 10, 15 grand over a sticker for them. So why not get something for $15,000? I'm gonna take the eco mode off and put my foot into it. It's not all the way down, but it's pretty much there. And really good acceleration. I will say accelerating the higher speeds does use a lot more energy, but that's with any EV. But it does take a minute to get up to speed. 
So for instance, in my Mach-E, I can pretty much gap other vehicles pretty easily. And in my Model 3, it was even faster. But this one, it just, it slowly catches up. Even in the normal mode. And it's really not something that you'd want to use on this vehicle because the battery is so small and you have so little range and putting your foot down can make the range even smaller. But if you need it, it's, it's adequate. And it does seem to hold pretty well. doesn't seem to use that much juice cruising at 80 but of course it's gonna shine when you're driving 40 45 through town not necessarily on the interstate but even at 80 miles an hour really really good ride and minimal wind noise It actually handles really well too. But this is gonna bring me to the end of my review of the 2015 Nissan Leaf SV.